So it's, I, it's kinda... I should tell you about space junk. Uh, let, let me. De- yes. What, uh, what do you mean by space junk? So for, um, I uh, think, I, you, you know, you, you might ask, why aren't they looking for us? One possibility is that we are not interesting. Like we were talking yeah, about. Ants, and another possibility, you know, if there are millions of or billions of years uh, into their technological development, they created their own their own uh, habitat, their own cocoon, yeah. where they feel comfortable, they have everything they need, and it, it, it's risky for them to establish communication with other, yeah. uh, so they have their own cocoon and they close off. Yes. They don't care about anything else. Yes. Now, in that case, you might say, oh, so how can we find about them if they are closed off? The answer is they still have to deposit trash, right? That's, <laughs> that is something, from the law of thermodynamics, yes. there must be some production of trash. And you know we can still find about them just like investigative journalists going through the trash cans yeah. of uh, celebrities in Hollywood. You, know? yes. you can learn about the private lives of those celebrities by looking at the trash. <laughs> it's fascinating to, to think you know, if, if we are the ants in this picture, if, we, if this thing is a water bottle, or if it's like a smartphone, like where, <laughs> where on the spectrum of possible objects of space? Because there's a lot of interesting trash. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. So, like, where? How interesting is this trash? Possibly? But imagine a caveman seeing a cell phone. The yeah, caveman I... would think, since the caveman played with rocks all of his life, he would say it's a rock, just yeah. like my fellow astronomers said. Yes. Right, yes, exactly. So, that's that's br- brilliantly put. <laughs> Actually, as a scientist, do you hope it's a water bottle or a smartphone? Because a smart, I, I hope it's even more than a smartphone. I hope that it's something that is really sophisticated. That's and, funny. I, yeah. See, I'm the opposite. I I feel like I hope it's a water bottle because at least we have a hope with our current set of skills to understand it. Yeah, a but- caveman has no way of understanding the smartphone. It's like, it will be like, I feel like a caveman has more to learn from the plastic water bottle than they do from the smartphone. But suppose we figure it out. If we, if we, for example, come close to it and, and, and learn what it's made of. And I guess the smartphone is full of like thousands of different technologies that we could probably pick at. Do you have a sense of where uh, a hypothesis of where is the cocoon that it might have come from? If- no, because uh, the okay. So first of all, you know the solar system, the outermost edge of the solar system is called the Oort cloud. It's a cloud of icy rocks um, of different sizes that were left uh, over from the formation of the solar system. Yes, and uh, it, it's thought to be roughly a ball or a sphere. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's halfway, the extent of it is roughly halfway to the nearest star, okay? So you can imagine each planetary system basically touching uh, the Oort clouds of those stars yes. that are near us are touching each other. Space is full of these billiard balls that are mm-hmm. very densely packed. Yes. And what that means is any object that you see, irrespective of whether it came from the local standard of So we said that this object is special because it came from a local standard of rest. But even if it didn't, you would never be able to trace where it came from because all these Oort clouds overlap. So if you take some direction in the sky, you will cross as many stars as you have yeah. in that direction. Like... There is no way to tell which old cloud it came from. So yes, yeah, so I, di- I didn't realize how densely packed everything was uh, yeah. uh, from the perspective of the Oort cloud. Yeah, that's really interesting. So uh, yeah, it could be it could be nearby, it could be very far away. Yeah, we we have no clue.